rolling with nat 20. I'm nat 20. And today we're starting Illusion of Gaia. The second part in the Quintet Trilogy. It doesn't necessarily like follow any sort of story. They're just all kind of uh, spiritual successors, if that makes sense. You'll see. So we'll start our journey. Okay. It's going to take a little getting used to again. <laughs> all right. Start the journey. In school. My name is Will. A year has passed since I went to the Tower of Babel with my father. My father and his party met with disaster. Somehow, I made it back to South Cape. I still can't believe my father is gone. I'll never believe it. When I grow up, I'll be an explorer and see the world. Somewhere, I will meet my father. That's all for today's lesson, class. You four, do your best to not fall behind now. Demons have appeared outside of town. If you go very far, you must go with your parents. I'll see you guys later at the usual place. I have to go home first. I'll see you guys there later. If you don't hurry home, your mother will think that you were kept after school. <laughs> Might change that second voice. Like always, the cave at the seashore. I gotta give these people voices. We got Lance, Seth, and Eric. But uh, one of them, one of them was a lady. I don't know who's supposed to be the lady. You look like a fast runner. To run, push the control pad twice. Do, 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 do. So we don't gotta save no towns here. The town is uh, already built. I travel around to people's houses selling weapons used to fight demons. We may live in troubled times, but I won't sell a weapon to a child. This is my house. The pie that Grandma Lola is making smells really great. <laughs> that was me. This is my house. The pie the Grandma Lola's making it smells really great. Welcome home. Will, dinner isn't ready yet. Go outside and play for a while. Uh, coming home at this hour probably means that you had to stay after school again. Ha <laughs> ha! Excellent. Even if a boy can't study, he should show a little initiative. Alrighty. There's a lot of hidden stuff in this game, so I'm already searching stuff. Looking around, see if we can find the secrets. I'm worried. There's been a lot of strange merchants lately doing business. Yeah, I spoke to you. How long have we been playing this? This, it's strange. This game is like red light, green light. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. My friend Eric lives here. This is the biggest house in South Cape. Will invited, Will envied people born to rich families. Eric's mother. Don't worry, I'm not on fire. This is just a treatment for my sore body. Cleaning this big house all day makes my brain ache. All right, what we got in here? Made of some sort. It's the little things in life that make you rich or poor. Well, heard any good stories? <sighs> Everyone is jealous of this big house. It's nothing. We moved to this town before anyone else. That's all. I envy you when I see the sea breeze blowing your hair like that. Nothing like mine under this scarf. My astronomer friend said something very strange. A 
stars approaching the Earth. It doesn't sound good. I feel sorry for Seth. I understand why he hates to see his parents fighting every day. This is Lance's house. He lives here with his frail mother. Oh, your father has been lost to the Tower of Babel for a year now. It seems like only yesterday. Thanks for reminding me of that. Thanks. That's, that's what I need to hear. Hey, kid, your dad's still missing. Found a rare jewel. Red jewel. Hooray. There's like 50 of those in the game. <laughs> Find them all. You get good stuff. But I think like every increment of five or something still gives you something. I feel sorry for Seth. I've already read your dialogue. Ah! No sooner was the door to Seth's house opened than a jar came flying out. <sighs> What's wrong with having a little fun with my hard-earned money? <sighs> it's no joke, that man. I put up with it for Seth's sake, but if I weren't, if it weren't for him, I'd have left long ago. Do we get anything else? No. Nope. All right. Gosh, I can't pull it up. Need help? You're just gonna let it dangle. Here's here's our seaside cave. It was natural for the four friends to call this seaside cave their second home. Usually, when lessons were done at the school, maybe there wasn't a chick in the group. They gathered there to talk and play games until sundown. Maybe it was just Lance, Eric, and Seth. <laughs> I'm gonna win again for sure. Huh? What is it, Will? It's late. I'm playing cards with Seth. Wait a minute. Suddenly, Eric rushed in with a desperate look on his face. I'm changing up Eric's voice, I think. Gah! Big news! Big news! The Princess of Edward Castle has run away! They say she came to South Cape. I gotta figure out a voice for him. I can't think of one. Lance is kind of like Butters. Is it? That's what I'm going to go with. Like I'm going to fall into like a Butters style voice. Just kind of like innocent and naive. I could be wrong. I'm, I believe Lance is kind of innocent and naive. Is that all? You came in such a hurry that I thought something really big had happened. The princess is probably that spoiled girl, Kara. The one you like so much. Liar! Maybe the soldiers will come here looking for her. Soldiers from Edward Castle look so cool. I want to steal helmet too. And and Seth is like the angry brooding teen. <sighs> I'm not interested in girls. I like adventures better. Maybe I'm gonna go with it. Interested in brooding teen. What's this? What's this creepy face thing about? And Eric. Hmm. Maybe I can give Eric a voice like this or something. Kind of like uh. The uh, Joey Wheeler from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge series, not the actual series. Give him my best fake Brooklyn accent, which won't be very good. <sighs> Everyone's here. What should we do today? I want to see Will's mysterious power. You haven't seen it. He can move things without touching them. They uh, moved the statue that's in the corner of the cave. Will, show me again. Huh? Right. <gasps> he moved. Move it. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Huh? No matter how many times I see it, I'm still amazed. But why can you move the statue when you can't move anything else? If only I could do that. Ugh. Next, pick a card. Nitty card. No, I... It's a little bothersome that moving the stick messes up the uh, dialogue. So I missed that, that line. I'll have to be careful not to actually move the stick. Pick the one you think is the Ace of Diamonds. Um. I don't know. This one. Who picks up a card? And it is, of course, the Ace of Diamonds. Alright! I'm speechless. Hey, Seth. Is this some type of psychic power, right? <laughs> yeah. It must be some kind of psychic power thing. If I didn't know better, 
And I'd think it was magic. Most people have five senses. Sight, hearing, taste, smell, and touch. But I think Will's psychic power is some kind of sixth sense. <laughs> what Seth says is too complicated for me to understand. Seth, let's play one more game. <laughs> My butter's voice needs work. One more game, we'll <laughs> One more game with Seth that I'm going home. Yeah, if only I could do that. <laughs> I'm gonna win again for sure. It was already dark by the time we left the cave. Might need to come up with a different voice for narrator and Will. So, that's probably my cue to go home and eat that pie, huh? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Hold it! Many demons are prowling around outside the town. Didn't your teacher warn you not to leave town without your parents? I don't have parents! They never explain what happened to my mother. And my dad got lost on an expedition a year ago. That's a window. I can't walk through a window. Um, we checked out this house. I think so. Mmm, nice smell. There's no stove, so I'm cooking in this pot. Alright, let's, uh, go home. Ooh! The pig's wrecking your room! Why is there a pig in the house? Hey, hey, what's going on? Oink, oink! Get out of here. What's she, what's she doing? Hey, dinner's gotten loose. Uh, uh, what? What you doing, pig? Oh, hello. Hamlet, you shouldn't snort at strangers. Is this your house? Uh, yeah. So? Hmm. Frankly, you look a little shabby. Uh, well, excuse me. Your father, mother, not here, huh? Hmm. Is this a picture of your parents? My father's an explorer. He, uh... I know. Olman the Explorer. They say he was lost. He'll come back someday. Are you sad? No. I'd be sad. If it were me. I'm sorry. Anyway. Is there a piano here? <laughs> no. There isn't. But Grandma Lola is a great singer. They're singing upstairs now. They have such loud voices. Such loud voices. Welcome home, Will. When I sing opera, I lose track of the time. Dinner's not ready yet. Oh my, I haven't sung like this in a long time. Your grandmother Lola used to be a singer. I fell in love with her voice, and that's why I married her. <laughs> oh, you, bringing up a thing like that. Well, you shouldn't be surprised to hear that. The girl who was singing with me a minute ago. No! Aye! A scream from downstairs. Crisis! Aw, oh, man. We gotta go check it out! Princess, we've been looking for you. I don't know you. Be gone! What are you saying? If I don't take you home, I'll lose my head. What do you care if you lose? What do I care if you lose your head, princess? Do you think I have nothing better to do than to chase you down? I must take you home. It's the king's orders. Huh? No, Mr. Oinky. I'm sorry I lied to you. I'm King Edward's daughter, Carl. Will, I feel as though we've met before, as if we're good friends. Really? A little strange. So, that girl likes to play practical jokes. <laughs> Edward Castle? There's a big viaduct under the castle. Your grandfather designed it. Huh, really? Ah, stop. There's a prison under the castle. 
I need to stop hitting the the movement button. It's built like a maze to keep the prisoners from escaping. I feel bad that I built a prison where people disappeared and are never heard from again. <laughs> Enough serious talk. Let's eat dinner. I've made a delicious pie. Let's sit at the table upstairs. Okay. I'm hesitant to move now because it, it ruins combos. We sat down to a feast of snail pie with whipped cream. I only got one piece, but Grandpa Bill ate half the pie. That night, Will dreamed that Kara and he took a trip around the world. Now, the narr is Will the narrator, or like, cause he's he's referring to himself in the third person too, kind of. And the next morning, something began to happen. What? What's going on? Oh, I just had more snail pie for breakfast. I left you a slice. Good morning, Will. A letter has come for you from King Edward. This is what's written in the letter. Bring the crystal ring from Olman's things to King... to Edward Castle, King Edward. I've been in a bad mood since I saw this letter. Oh, Will, I'll teach you a spell. When I'm upset, humming this tune makes me feel better. Lola hummed a strange melody. That's pretty. Even though Will had never heard it before, it seemed oddly familiar. You've learned Lola's melody. Be careful. A crystal ring? Never heard of it. There's nothing like that in the luggage your father Olman left behind. Maybe we could go to Castle Edward and we could see the princess. <laughs> All right, um, so I don't have the ring on me. Doesn't appear to be hidden anywhere in the house. Red Jewel and Lola's Melody. All right, I've got the ring. <gasps> yeah! I like the jumping animation, just the, the hair flow. I feel sorry for Seth. All right, maybe maybe we'd stash it away here. You guys playing cards again or playing cards still? Hey, watch that! Isn't that impressive again? <laughs> it's the last day from school. <laughs> no, <laughs> I misread. It's a day off from school. Let's have some fun. I'm not reading that again. Nope. What about in here? Hmm. <laughs> he softly played the melody he had learned from Lola, but nothing happened. Except this bird came and attacked me! Ah! <laughs> Alright, well, uh, what if we just start to... What if we head down there? Without the ring, because we don't know where the ring is. King Edward has summoned you to the castle. Well, let's be careful. And this is the cool use of Mode 7 in this game with the... Uh, Traversing the map. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Edward's castle. Halt! Who do you think you are? This is King Edward's castle. I must report this intrusion. Will shows the letter to the guard. A guest for the king? I'm sorry. You, you may pass. All right. Take a quick look around here. See if there's anything for us to uh, get. King Edward's having breakfast. Wait a while. This is the castle. To go to the second floor, you want to if you want to meet Edward. All right, maid. Recently, a hunter was hired. I wonder what the king is thinking. A hunter, you say? I don't remember any hunter in this game. Interesting. I don't remember a lot from this game though, so that doesn't mean much. Let's go downstairs. Let's see what's down here. Barrels, 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 barrels. Do you got red jewels in your barrels? No. What you got? This is the underground prison. Innocent people can't enter. Good. I don't want to be in the prison. Sounds terrible. You know, my grandpa designed it. So your will. You were summoned by King Edward. Be careful when you meet with him. 
I, I love you. Well, he's shy. I'm glad that somewhere in the world there's someone who's thinking of me. <laughs> This is the princess's room. Strangers can't enter. Who is it? A guest? This is just a shabby boy. It's me, Kara. Oh, that voice! Let him in, or I'll tell everyone your old nickname. Oh, pardon me, please enter. You! Yesterday. I was told to bring the crystal ring to King Edward? Terrible! It's terrible! Again, my father's trying to take something important from someone. I've escaped from the castle before, and now they won't let me out. Recently, something very strange has happened in the castle. My mother has hired a famous hunter. It's ominous. Princess, let's go. I feel scared. My father and mother seem to have changed. Please save me. Take me out of here, please. Princess? Please come back, Will. Please? Your business is finished. Get out. Now. Well, that's probably what we had to do, uh... Before we're ready to meet with the king in the middle of his breakfast. The interview room is before you. Climb the stairs to meet the king. So you are Will. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Let's go see King Ed. If you want to keep, the, if you want to see the king, keep your wits about you. Queen first. The king has sent you the letter. Talk to him, Edwina. So, here will. You look so shabby. Did you bring the crystal ring? I don't have it. How dare you say such a thing to me? Guards, throw this impudent weasel in prison. Then go to Will's house and find the ring. Yes, sir. Good luck. I couldn't find it, but uh, ma'am, save me. Did you just say, ma'am? Yep, little boy, falsely in prison. Edward's prison. I wonder why I have to suffer so. I wonder. What will come of me now? Anyway, I have to think of a way to get out of here. I do have psychic powers. Hmm. Someone was chained to this ball. This moss has seen thousands of prisoners come and go. Those prisoners must have been encouraged by any sign of life. He softly played the melody he had learned from Lola, but nothing happened. It's locked. It's locked. This moss has seen thousands of prisoners come and go. I'm going to be trapped in here until I die. Forever. Now! I will psychic something towards me. The soldier's whispers come from a hole in the ceiling. It's today's ration of bread. Even Moss drinks water. We'll taste some of the bread. The bread is hard. It's the worst thing he's ever tasted. For some reason, he really misses Grandma Lola's creative cuisine. Oh. While I was trying to think of a way out, I drifted off to sleep. And accidentally skipped some of the dialogue. But oh well. A familiar voice speaks from the flute. Well. This is your father. Huh? Father? You were a cute child, but now you've grown up. Isn't Grandma's Lola, isn't Grandma Lola's pie delicious? Uh, sure, Dad. 
Where are you? I can't tell you now. I have something to ask of you. Listen. Sure. I want you to save me. I too was once held in this cell. Look at the left-hand wall. This? Have you heard anything from Grandpa Bill? Grandpa? He was an architect. Your grandpa knows the secret of that stone. Secret? Starting now, you will encounter a terrible thing. Do I have to? Pick up the stone your enemy left. The power of the crystal is contained in there. The power will prove to be your ally. You must make a pilgrimage to the ruins of the world to find the mystic statues. The closer you get to the crystal, the stronger the evil power will be. Will. No time. Quickly. First. To the Incan ruins. The flute's voice fades and disappears. What did I get? I don't know. Oink, oink. Mr. Oinky. I wonder if this is Kara's pig. Well, look. There's a letter and a key tied to its tail. And the letter reads, I'm sorry to hear that you're in prison. It's terrible what my father's done. But hear what I have to say. I, too, am a prisoner in a prison of silk and gold. But tonight... I will leave the castle forever. You also will be free. You have the key! Uh, key. As he turns the prison key, the steel door opens with a dull sound. I don't need anyone's help. I can get out by myself. Uh, hello? Ugh, it's the world of evil. Dark space. I am Gaia, the source of all life. I will help you on your journey. Only one with the dark power can see this space. You are the chosen one. In the dark space, you can record a travel journal. Stop there before you depart. I am Gaia, the source of all life, and I will give you advice. When you defeat all of the enemies in an area, you will gain a jewel that increases your abilities. Push the start button to see the location of your enemies. Find the demons and defeat them. Record what's happened so far? Indeed. Finished recording. Continue your journey? Yes. Although, I think, uh... This is where we're going to have to end the first episode of Illusion of Guy. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see any combat, but that's going to be coming up here soon. And we are following the story of the mysterious boy, Will, whose father disappeared on an exploration of some sort that he was on himself. And he returned mysteriously without his father or any of the other explorers. But... He now has uh, psychic powers and the ability to go to the world of evil because he is chosen with dark power. And we'll have to see just what that entails in the future. See ya.